Hi everyone in the vital community. It's me, Rob from Boston. How are you all? It's nice to see you again. Nice to be seen. Nice to see you. Um, just coming back to do a quick update. A little this, a little that. Uh, talk about the vinyl community forever. Um, I was watching Otavio's video last night and he was talking about keeping the balance right. And, uh, geez, you know, I haven't listened to my records, new or old, as much as I used to since I joined the VC, but it's part of the whole thing, I guess, for me. Um, I really, I spend a lot of time, sometimes six to eight hours a day, commenting, sending PMs, you know, staying in touch with people, and I really love it. Um... I was, uh, I remember when Otavio and LJ first started, um, I think I was commenting on videos, I think it was, uh, Jeff Record Man, who I miss, hi Jeff, and also Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame, and, uh, Derek, a few others, and, um, I wasn't posting videos then, but I was commenting, but I remember, I think I started posting a month after Otavio. Um, I gotta check on that, and also LJ, right around the same time, but... When I first started in the vinyl community, there was... Nobody was calling it the VC. It was just called... I guess the vinyl community. Um... Jeff Rankin, man, would have to back me up on that. Maybe Brandon, maybe Derek, but... Or oh, whoever else, send me a PM. But anyway, yeah, it had me thinking, and I just wanted to say how much that, you know, I love this community love all the people in it very 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 much each and every one of you and I hope it just continues to strive go places keep getting uh, closer friendships and the whole nine yards and I wanted to just show a few things that I just bought um, yeah oh yeah congratulations to David Sequoia Flame and his 1,000 subs and also uh, Dan Fury Dan, um, I'm sorry I missed your contest, uh, Dan sent me a few albums, this was one of them in particular, he also turned me on to just John Clemmer, one of the albums that I have here, uh, my new vinyl finds, if I can find it, did I put it away already? I might have put it away, excuse me one second, easy to find, yeah, right here, also known as the Riveras. Zeitgeist. Translate slowly. I think, um, someone showed this album recently. Might have been Blake. Uh, someone showed it recently, but what a great album. This Dan turned me on to this. It was kind of like part of this video that, you know, talk about some of the records that inspired you, turned you, that Dan helped you get into, you know, he turned you on to. So, there's been many. And I wrote down a few others, Dan. Uh, Light Bright Highway, John Clemmer, I just showed it. Pelican, Isis, Refused, Sunny Stitt. Don't ask me why, but Sunny Stitt reminds me of you, Dan. Uh, At the Drive-In, and Helmet, to name a few out of many, 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 many. So, Dan, I just wanted to say how thankful I am uh, just to have you out there in the community sharing PMs with me, uh, building, you know, our friendship, but you're a special guy, you're an intelligent guy, you love your music, and I really care for you as a friend. You're one of the very special ones, Dan. Uh, so, uh, so isn't you, Dave, so aren't you, David, you know that already, but, uh, just congratulations again to both of those guys. There's a lot of, uh, contests being made the vinyl community lately, but a thousand subscribers is a wonderful accomplishment. Travis just did it too. Fastest I've ever seen anyone do it. Travis got a thousand subscribers in like less than a year, which is phenomenal. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'd like to also show, so thanks guys, uh, congratulations again. I'd like to show some of my new records that I just picked up and uh, try to make this video painless, short. Here's uh, Marv. There's the uh, A Marv, uh, my vinyl. Two. I did. Here's the uh, wingspan. LJ knows about this too. 
LJ's been kidding me about this for a long time, but I still haven't opened it. It's sealed. Mark, this is the one I told you about. Um, I think it's the same one as yours, the Polyphone. Um, yeah, and I also picked up this new Morrissey, uh, Hold On To Your Friends, 12 inch, it's numbered. Oh, Bobby, it's numbered on the back. Uh, I'd like to welcome uh, Bobby back into the uh, vinyl community, Robert Z. Welcome back, Bobby. I know we talked and everything, you know, the last week or so, many times. You're a great guy, a great friend, and I just want to welcome you back. Good to have you back. Uh, yeah, all right, I just want to show some new records. So, I got the Dinosaur Jr. Uh, tour edition. This is really good. I mean, if you like newer, if you like Dinosaur Jr., it's, um... It's actually very good. Um, you know, I always get weary when I buy bands. This postcard came with it, too. I always get weary when I buy bands that, um, you know, who haven't been around in a while. Or they do uh, reunion tours or they get together for, you know, the 100,000th uh, reunion album or whatever. But this was good, you know. It's, uh, I think this has been shown a few times. He's probably bored by seeing it by now, but... I just thought I'd show my copy. Man. Right? I wanted to show my copy. Na 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 na. Not to brag. But to just show it. Dinosaur Jr. is a great band. They mean a lot. You know, they've seen them quite a few times in the early days of clubs. Save that one for last. Ghetto Brothers. Fred turned me on to this. I got it from Ear Candy Music. Yeah, Candy's in uh, Montana. I love when I get stickers inside the packages when I order records. That's the coolest. You know, I, I wish everybody would do that because I just love stickers. Does anyone else out there like stickers? Uh, in the VC, let me know. Uh, this is Ghetto Brothers. Great album. This, this, this band, group of guys used to be, um, actually, this is a reissue. Um... To find the original, forget about it. It's going to cost you some money, but... I, I wasn't too hip on this cover, but it's... You know, if you want to hear a great album, someone like, you know, I wanted... I think I sent, um... Joe, any of the Beatle collectors, um... Check this out. Yeah, I think I did send something to Joe to listen to this, but what a great album. A, band, a group of guys who used to be in a gang and they put out something like this. Check this out. Excellent. Um, got Steve Hillage. <clears throat> I was talking to Chris, my, um, John Coltrane recently, and he said this wasn't his favorite Steve Hillage album. I think it's fantastic. This guy can play guitar. Wicked. This is on Fish Rising. Everybody's probably seen this many times over already. Um, just a few more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whenever I think of Ornette Coleman, whenever I see Ornette Coleman, I think of Anders. This is uh, part of the original jazz classics, and it sounds really good. It sounds really good. So I wanted to get some Ornette Coleman. I finally did. This reminds me of Memphis Final Jim and the Misses. Um, anytime I see the Soul Survivors album, I think of them. But I've got a really nice copy of this. Really, really nice copy. I was happy to get it. On the... Uh, the Crimson label, which is one of my coolest, one of the better looking labels. Such a great album. These two guys are the brothers are still out there playing nowadays. And if you heard them, if you get a chance to check them out on YouTube, check, you know, give them a listen. They, they can still perform. What voices? Ah, James, crap it out, Jim. Oh, you know something? I, all right, I'll do... Uh, yeah, yeah, all right, I'll do that next. Already running out of time. Let me pick it up a little. I got the Four Men with Beards reissue for the return of the Derudy column. I love Vinnie Riley, and I finally got this thanks to the reissues. Uh, and I want to say crap it out, Jim. Thank you, Jim, for this inspiration to pick up the Derudy column. And also this, Throbbing Gristle. I was happy to find this, DOA. Wow. Yeah, well, all right, I'll take it out. Um, this is on the celluloid label, and I kept the person's name that I bought it from. I don't know why. I'm even keeping those stickers. Wow, that's pretty crazy. 
keeping stickers of the person's name that sent it to me? That's being a little bit too anal, Rob. I think I have serious issues when it comes to that stuff. I should probably go to a doctor. But thank you, James. That was awesome. Um, finally got the Robin Gristle album. This band's crazy. They're wild. And uh, Otavio, you're right. I had to be ready for that, but I enjoyed it. I'm going to look for more. And I also want to thank Greeno for turning me on to Glitter Wizard. Love this record. Anyone who likes good metal, good hot rock, like ACDC, that kind of stuff, you'll love Glitter Wizard. I get turned on the first song I listened to. I think I listened to... What did I listen to first? I don't know. Blood of the Circuit, I think. And I just... This album just wiped me out. I loved it. Thanks, Greeno. And then I want a special thanks to two people. Um... In closing, he didn't want me to thank him, but I'm going to anyways. Mark, Dr. Devwax. I'm glad you got your things squared away, Mark, and you're back right on. Um, he sent me three records, the band, Islands. You know, this was a little overproduced for me, Mark, and everybody else. It sounded, um, it didn't sound like the band to me. It sounded like the band, but more like solo records. Like each member did a solo album and they put it on one record. There's still some good tracks on it. And I have heard some of these before. Naturally, everyone knows Georgia on my mind. But I heard some of these songs before. Let the Night Fall, Robbie Robinson, I heard before. It was like listening to a Robbie Robinson album, kind of. Solo album. But 70s style. Thank you, Mark. Or 80s style. Thank you. This Canned Heat album was awesome. I love anything Canned Heat puts out. This was after Alan Wilson. Blind Al Alan Wilson. I, after he passed away, this was later Canned Heat. But they did, Alan Wilson did some of these songs live, I think. Human Condition, they used to perform live with him. And I have to check on the others, but this is a great album. Love Can't Heat. Thank you. And this, now I, I mess up this, this name all the time, and you say it perfect. Like, I say, Terje Rydal, 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 Silent P, maybe. Terje Rydal, Waves, what a great album. This was incredible. This guy can play guitar, he can play... I mean, I think it's like progressive jazz sounding, but, wow. Every, every musician on this album was great, and every single song is excellent. Um, it's just basically uh, side one and side two. I think this... I, I guess that's how they did it. You know, there's, there's one, two, three, there's six songs on it, but Waves was just phenomenal. Thank you so much for turning me on to this music, Mark. I should have had it in my collection a long time ago. Lastly, I wanted to thank um, such a great guy, Hubert, in Germany. Hubert, thank you so much for sending me these two albums. I am so sorry to both of you guys that I'm so late uh, saying thank you, but this was very, very special to me, Hubert. Porgy and Bass by Miles Davis. Such a beautiful album. They're both mint condition. And I enjoyed this. I really, really did. This is the Orange CBS. And they were pristine. I mean, these, these are like plain glass. They were so beautiful. And they sound so nice. The other ones, the Atlantic Jazz Express, I am... This was just awesome. For someone like me who's getting into all kinds of jazz... I mean, look at the artists on this. I'll, this is a comp. Name a few. Billy Cobham, John Coltrane, Herbie Mann, Eddie Harris, Martin Jazz Quartet, Les McCann, Roland Kirk, Dave Brubeck, Chikoria, Charles Mingus. You can't get much better than that. On the Atlantic label. Thank you so much, Hubert. I really appreciated that. Thank you to everybody for watching this. Remember that I love this community, and I love corresponding with everybody. I know I say I love a lot, love this, love that, but from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say that VC is a special place for all of us. All of us. You just say, hi Maggie, Stephanie, Laura, Jen, Shannon, whatever, all of you guys out there, just the, the women I, I like to try to remember and say hi to, but thanks all everybody for watching this. See you in your videos.